Hi and welcome to this Furuno Australia TZT3 training video. Today in this video we're going to take a look at the TZT3's Wi-Fi feature. How to turn on Wi-Fi, how to connect to it and the features that it brings to you. So without uh, further ado, let's jump straight in. Okay, so we are now on the GPS chart plotter page, the normal chart plotter as you would when you're turning it on normally. To access the Wi-Fi menu, we go up into the top left corner, the Home button. Then we go to Settings and General. And down a few options, we've got Wireless LAN settings. Before we jump into that though, just make sure that Connect to the Internet is set to when necessary. That way the Wi-Fi etc. will always connect uh, whenever you need it, rather than the At Startup setting where it only connects at startup and downloads anything that it needs at startup or never, where it will never connect to the internet. So always have it set to when necessary. So wireless LAN settings menu. So this is the wireless LAN setting menu, otherwise known as Wi-Fi. The wireless mode, we have two modes that the TZ MF, TZ3 MFDs can, can operate with. First is connecting to existing LAN. And that basically means connecting to an existing Wi-Fi hotspot, whether it's your phone hotspot, whether it's a 3G hotspot or whether it's a, a dedicated Wi-Fi uh, next to a building or something like that or coming from a building. So the other option from there is create local network and we use that if we ever need to connect an iPad or an iPhone directly to the MFD to use a variety of iOS apps. So there is iBoat which is a navigation app and connecting directly to the MFD allows it to share position and speed and course and heading directly to the app. Um, it also synchronizes waypoints and stuff to the iBoat app itself. Other, uh, other apps are remote apps where you can control the MFD through your phone, etc. Uh, and so for those apps, we use Create Local Network. Uh, for this particular video, though, we'll stick to connecting to existing LAN um, and go through those features. So we set it to Connect to Existing LAN. From there we turn the Wi-Fi on and once the Wi-Fi is on it'll scan for different networks. So currently we have no network connected but I'm going to connect to Furuno Wi-Fi. So I tap on Furuno Wi-Fi and go connect and then the keyboard will pop up in a second and I've made a simple password. Hopefully yours are a bit more secure. So I've made a simple password to connect to the MFD. If you wish to show the characters of your password to make sure you've entered it correctly, you can tick on show characters and then to make them disappear, uncheck that checkbox. So once we've entered the password and we've entered it correctly, we tap on OK and we wait for the connection in progress. And there we go, we're now connected to the Furuno Wi-Fi. To confirm that we have got connection um, if you have already connected to a Wi-Fi previously, the next time you turn the unit on, it'll automatically connect if the Wi-Fi is available and on. To confirm that simply, rather than going into the Wi-Fi menu, you can go to Home, and then up in this top corner, we've got this little Wi-Fi symbol up where my cursor is pointing. So that there tells us that we've got connectivity to the Wi-Fi. The features that the Wi-Fi will give us um, is one is TZ Fleet, so you can report your position back to to a, um, a fleet where you'll sh share your position and then also allow the sharing of waypoints and routes and, and plans and stuff to the MFD. That's all done through the Wi-Fi. The other feature with Wi-Fi is downloading chart updates. Um, downloading um, our software updates in the future will be done via Wi-Fi and then also uh, the weather download which I can do a quick one now. So I can tap on the weather page, I zoom out to where I want to cover the, web, the weather uh, section, so the edge of the screen rather is where the weather file will download and then I tap on the screen and go get latest WX. The TZMFD will connect to the weather server through your Wi-Fi, prepares the weather file and downloads it. And then once it's downloaded, it'll display on the on the chart plotter. So that's a feature uh, that the Wi-Fi brings to you. So download succeeded. Um, now I've got wind, speed, and direction showing up directly on my MFD. Downloaded just now. Okay, so to run through that again, we go into our home settings, into general, and wireless LAN settings. And from there, 
we choose to turn on to connect to existing LAN to connect to the internet uh, and then enable the wireless and pick your Wi-Fi, put the password in and you're connected. Okay, so that concludes the video on Wi-Fi. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact through an Australia support. And thanks for watching.